do a bunch of stuff tonight, so I just wanted to capture this. <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm not quite done yet. I forgot one thing. Um, the uh, the the hood release latch or the bonnet release latch, um, depending on what side of the pond you're on, I guess. Um, uh, it's this guy right here. Uh, put this up out of here. Um, this guy. Um, it uh, feeds through this hole right in here where my finger is. Um, and then it uh, kind of feeds along in here. Uh, underneath this, uh, this front uh, lip here. And so, and it attaches to uh, this guy right here. And so when you pull on that, uh, pushes that over, and you can see, uh, you can kind of see it open the hole up. So it unlatches the hood. And then, uh, I don't have the hood here, but the hood's got a spring on it, so it'll pop out when that's pulled. Um, so I just undid the, uh, uh, the wire that was coming through here. Um, and then I uh, uh, undid this nut right here and I pulled this whole thing out of its sheathing. So I pulled the, this wire here that runs inside the sheathing, pulled that all out. Um, and then once I got it out, I just grabbed uh, this guy from the other side, um, yanked that out. And uh, once I had it out, I just put it back together. So that's that. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna try to go through this kind of quick because I kind of rambled on earlier. So um, quick wrap this up. But uh, I kind of accomplished all my goals for, for this weekend. Um, main thing I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, get everything that was, that I could work on um, above the ground, I guess you could say. I wanted to get that all disassembled. There's a few things I didn't get done, which, uh, which are these, uh, these wipers right here. Um, it appears that this just screws out and uh, these would come off, but these threads up on top are kind of messed up. So I'm going to go to the mgexperience.net uh, and uh, ask those guys what they think. But uh, So I didn't get that done and uh, that overflow container back in the trunk did get that up. But those are the only two things. Other than that, um, as you can see in the uh, um, engine bay here, um, I've kind of got all the brake lines and gas lines and uh, the, the uh, uh, wire harness is just kind of laying there. So I've got this all taken apart. Um, and uh, so, woohoo. Um, let's see here. One of the big things was uh, getting the, uh, it's over here, the, the brake and uh, and uh, clutch master cylinder assembly deal, getting this taken off. Um, it was, there was like one screw that was kind of tricky. It was uh, uh, this front one right here on the left. Um, it was kind of kind of hard to get in there with a wrench, so I had to use uh, use that extension again. I think it was like a 12 millimeter socket, but um, that came out good. So there's just a couple. Uh, couple bolts around, I think there's like six or so bolts around the perimeter, and then there's uh, two on the inside. You can see where they come through right here on the sides of the opening. And uh, also pulled out the, if you want to come around here, uh, the, uh, the brake and uh, clutch pedals are out of there as well. So, and the, uh, the accelerator, pedal is just kind of hanging there. That will come out pretty quick. Um, so I've got the speakers out. That was a pretty minor job. I don't know about these holes. One of the various previous owners cut holes in here and I don't think it was worth wrecking that to put shitty speakers in there. <laughs> but but they did it anyway. So um, I don't know. Probably patch those up. and. Uh, Next thing I, I took out was uh, uh, these guys right here. These are where the, uh, when the, when the hood's up or the uh, uh, convertible top. Um, 
these are where it snaps into place. So I took those all out. There's just a, a little nut on the back on the bottom um, that I had to get out. And to access those, if you want to kind of come around in here, there's, I had to, don't sideways. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I just uh, kind of had to uh, reach in here like this to get at them and underneath. Uh, and then uh, these guys right here were the back of the uh, uh, either the tonneau or the or the hood clips on. Um, there's just some bolts underneath uh, that were holding in, and it was just a just a, a Phillips head uh, posi drive type bolt. So uh, uh, got those out. Um, like I said, here's the overflow thing that has yet to come out. Um, Let's see what else did I do? There's a uh, there's a vent that sits right in here. This I just took the there's four screws on the hinges and that came out. Um, there's uh, some uh, I took these vents off. There's just two bolts here and here, and then that whole assembly came off. But I don't know. That's about it. Um, so I'll kind of wrap this up then. Uh, I recently I've set up a, uh, uh, a new website. My dog is going crazy over there. She had hers. <laughs> Poor girl. Okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I set up a new web, website to kind of be your portal to all the different uh, Marty's Garage links um, and stuff. So when I uh, plug places on the show and stuff, I'll put links there. But it's... it's uh, www.martune.net um, So uh, that's, that'll be the home of Marty's Garage. And uh, uh, as always, the show is available on uh, 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 Blip TV, um, YouTube. Uh, if you like to watch a streaming online, you can also watch that at martune.net. Um, and uh, if you like to watch it on your uh, portable device. Uh, there's always uh, iTunes and the, uh, the Zoom Marketplace. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and uh, feedback. Um, any feedback, Marty's Garage at gmail.com. So, there's a whole lot of info for you. <laughs> so, but, uh, I don't know. See you next week. Thanks. Thanks for watching.